welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Bess I am the owner and creator of life with Bess it is a modern hand embroidery business based in Brisbane Australia I'm really excited for today's video I am going to walk you through my studio show you what storage solutions I use how I organize stuff I had been kind of holding off on it waiting for it to be perfect in my mind or until it was fully stacked with stock or, or things like that. But I'm like, you know what, nah, I need to just film it and then we can go from there. So we've been in this space for about 18 months. We moved into this townhouse in 2020 and um, my business has been just growing since then and I have been taking over more and more space. There are four main spaces that I have for my studio and so I'm gonna walk you through all of them today. So I'm gonna start off with the main studio area. This is the master bedroom. So coming into the main studio, the first thing is this sit-stand desk from Ikea. The beauty of this desk is it's a really big size, so it makes it really good for packing and cutting fabric and doing a whole heap of other stuff, and it can be adjusting whether you're sitting or standing. And then we got this little um, trolley set from Kmart, and it's a lot of our packing materials, so just so that they're close to this desk, but we're keeping this desk as clear as we can. Hi. I've got my water activated tape dispenser there. We've got all of our different tapes that we use for different things. Measuring tape, thank you cards, like our rotary cutter and hole punch, bin bags, and then like scissors and pens and everything like that. And then normally this would be packed fuller, but this one <laughs> loves to wrestle the bottom there. So normally we would have other mailers in there as well, but for now we just keep that clear. Then we're gonna come over here. This is my little sewing nook. You can see I've got some lights here that makes it a lot easier when I'm filming different things. Um, this little pegboard is from Ikea. They're brilliant and I've just got some little things here. I just wanted it to be a little bit more like picturesque. This is a cute little watercolour that I got from Chatsworth House. And it, overall it just creates a really crafty, comfortable corner. I store all my scissors and pens that I use here away from our stock just so I don't confuse because I've got to try and keep things separate. These are two metre desks. I've got two of them, so I have four metres worth of table. Trust me, when we are busy, it is chock-a-block filled with stuff. This is where I take majority of my photos. So if you look at my Instagram, if there's a nice white background, it was taken here because I've got the nice light just coming through here. It's perfect. So in these Alex drawers, I use them for storage. Most of the time it's sewing. So this is for my sewing machine. And when we go down the drawer, this is extra needles and things for embroidery. And then we go down, this is again, sewing machine. I've got a tailor's hem on my bobbins and my thread. And then we've got hot glue gun, hot glue for back in my hoops. And down the bottom is just honestly anything that won't fit anywhere else. It's my odd drawer, really. My sewing machine lives down there just so it's out of the way and I have more space on top. And then this is again more packaging solution, different size satchels, envelopes, mailers, and there's our hexel wrap, I believe. The stuff we're using currently at the moment is from Hero Packaging. Up the top is my overlocker, which actually my sister gave me her hand-me-down. And then we come to these shelves. I got a lot of question about these shelves. I'm gonna walk you through it a little bit more. So these are the Iva shelves. They are from Ikea and I love them because the shelves are actually all adjustable. So I was able to give a bit more space where my packing kits are or like smaller amounts for where my thread boxes are. So this is two Iva shelves secured together. Um, I loved the raw timber look and I wanted a really natural feel and vibe for my studio. In these shelves I have a whole heap of different storage solutions for different things and we keep on swapping things around according to what stock we have and don't have. These are from Kmart. They only recently came out and they work really well holding our new pattern kits that we've got. These hold our thread packs. So it's actually got dividers down the side there. It makes it a lot easier just to pull out when we need them. All of my personal thread is in this section here. So I don't use them for kits or anything. That's my collection of threads. Got my two Cricut machines here. 
I've got more pattern kits in these collapsible storage containers and then in this basket I have my finished or work in progress pieces. At the top I have fabric that's for sale in the store. Also these are actually like cutlery drawers from Kmart but they work perfectly for organising those kind of things, for organising my needlebooks. Down the bottom we normally have embroidery stands but we're about to do a restock of them in about six weeks so that's why that's getting a little bit empty and then we're going to come over to this little rattan kind of storage bookcase so i found this on facebook marketplace it was an ugly metallic silver and i spray painted this beautiful kind of blush dusty pink up the top we have our thread bundles and ren's demonstrating Ren loves to fall asleep in that bottom one, which is why it's empty. Our old order slips go there, and then we have bobbins and other books and things. And then we have the computer station. Now, obviously we use this a lot. We have our printing, so I have Dymo. This is for the Excel labels. That's for like the Ospo shipping labels. And we use this smaller one for Thread Club or just envelope letter labels it's so much quicker i bought one of these from kmart so good because i can organize stuff inside and then i can also hide stuff underneath i've got these cute little baskets to hold my sd cards and my vlogging camera battery particularly now that i'm doing that a lot and my podcast microphone lives on here as well the my favorite feature about the desk actually is that we got one on wheels we got one on wheels and the reason why we got that was because when I do the podcast I like to move the whole desk so this shelf is in the background. And then we keep moving around and this is the ensuite bathroom which I use to store my makeup and other things and also when I do painting of the stands this is where I clean my paintbrushes. Aurora! The dogs have not been really cooperative with this, so I apologize for their little scruffles and scruffs in between in there, but um, yeah, like this, watch this. Ren? What are you doing? Ren? Ah, ah, ah. What you doing, buddy? You know you that long. <laughs> And the last section that's in the master bedroom is the walk-in wardrobe, which is completely all storage for us. So they had the railings up on the top here that we took out so we had more space. These are from Ikea. They're Calyx shelves that we've turned. It's a two by four. And these are the drawers that go in it. So this is where we store a lot of our bits and bobs that we use regularly to make up stock. So friction pans needle threaders, there's the needle minder bits and thread and all of that kind of stuff all lives in here. And then same on this side, that's my dress fabric stash. This is a stash of items of clothing to sew on for my TikTok and things like that. And this has fabric scraps and bits and pieces. So when I cut all my fabric for the starter kits, I leave the odd shaped bits in here and I actually use them, that's what I sew on. And then we've got this A-frame from Kmart years ago, I think it was like 2018 is when it was from. And it just stores bits and pieces, a lot of stuff to do with the stands as well. And then this is the built-in section of the walk-in wardrobe. We've actually utilised it for a lot of our packaging materials. So it kind of keeps all of this stuff from a bit getting dusty or dirty. And this is all of our big bags that we use to take items to the post office with. So they're all in there, um, easy to access. So yeah, that's the main studio. This mirror was actually also a must have in here just because it's really helpful to add extra light. I've actually really been enjoying it when I film, I kind of get that second angle. And then also I use it a lot when I'm sewing my own dresses, I need a full length mirror to see how things fit so yeah and then I've had this as a permanent reminder because I do tend to get caught up in perfectionism all right so we're leaving the studio now and this is the in-between landing area so if we go that way that's the storeroom out here is the patio where we do a lot of our stand stuff this is the in-between and again this is all storage 
in my original studio this was all in the studio but I needed my Ava bookshelf so all of these have different storage solutions to them as you would have seen in probably past studio vlogs this again is from Ikea I could be a walking advertisement for Ikea at this stage majority of my storage solutions are from Ikea these are the Trofast shelves and this is their pegboard and it comes with all these accessories which are perfect for perfect for all of our little bits and pieces it's due for a restock here I've got more stock coming of that very shortly but things that I've got in here are like random frames, stumping, um, wire. I've got my tapestry wall. I've got like different calico bags, medium and small. I've got my watercolor goodies. I've got other random projects in here. And my big sized hoops. I've got my vinyl for my Cricut machine, my salty stick and stitch paper, and as you would have seen, my fabric. And of course, all my puppy pads because we're toilet training men. It's what we put up with every day, hey guys? Every day. This is a little extra section, which is really good for putting parcels before they're ready to be opened, or like at the moment, we have Thread Club all prepared, ready to go. Technically, this is the third bedroom of our townhouse, and we use it for a lot of storage of packing boxes and extra stock. So these shelves are again from Ikea. I can't remember the name of them, but they're the ones with the slats. So they're not the Iva ones. They're a bit more wobbly, <laughs> but we don't rock on them, they're fine. So in the walk-in wardrobe, this is where I store my spare mailing satchels, my tape, my water activated tape, my four XL labels, for the Domo labels, everything like that. And then we've got boxes, lots of different sizes lots of different things we come into here when we're packing orders and you often see us leaving the studio and this is where we're coming to this is where our spare hoops are stored and then we've got our printers this is from ikea it's my favorite chest of drawers i refuse to get rid of it and in the top we have things to do with the printer so we have cardboard our a4 labels brown paper that we print on and just normal paper And then finally, we're gonna move outside. So this is where I do a lot of the prep for the stands. So this is the outside patio area. We've got two six foot um, demountable tables. I was gonna say disposable tables, but that's not right. <laughs> demountable tables. And this is where I do a lot of my painting. This is where we store all, all our paint cans, the bottle caps that we use to, to um, rest things on. And this is our storage shelf. So when we've got projects that we're working on, we lay them up here. And this is where we store um, hoop dogs before they're painted and everything. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed that very whirlwind run around tour of my studio. As you can tell, majority of my bits and bobs are from IKEA. I move stuff around all the time, constantly rejigging things. But this is how it is at the moment. Um, we can easily fit two to three other people in the studio because we've got all those separate work zones already all set up. And yeah, thank you for watching my studio tour. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of my upcoming studio vlogs.